Welcome back. You know they said it couldn't be done. Or maybe no one's ever really tried it. But today, we're going to make the world's first saltwater Tesla coil. Do you think it can be done? Well, do ya, punk? Let me know down below in the comments. All right, let's get started. Now, to make a world's first saltwater Tesla coil, I guess we're gonna need some tubing, some more tubing, some kind of a tube, and at least one or two little signs to warn others that you're working. I haven't really thought about how I'm going to put this together yet. So give me just a moment and I'll be right back. Okay. Obviously, we're going to need a few more things, but we'll just collect them along the way of this historic adventure. Now, I chose this tubing because it was five dollars, which was all I have, and this stuff here I already had in the lab. I 3D printed a core that we'll wrap our secondary on, and I have a mixing bowl here that we will make salt water with. So the first thing you want to do is to open your secondary core packaging. Now these probably be very useful, but for now We'll toss them to the side. As with many or most Tesla coils, your primary coil is probably going to be larger in diameter than your secondary, even if it is made out of salt water. So first, let tape our secondary onto the core. Note to self, use less tape. This is just ridiculous. I can't. I don't know why it's got to be a hundred thousand degrees in here, but all right. I'm sorry about that. I'm not sure what's wrong. It's been a little hot. That's all. Next. We'll construct our primary coil. This should be fairly simple. I've already done the math and we'll need about two turns. So let's tape that together. So do you think it will work? you guess in the comments yet? And there 
is our primary coil. Now let's make some salt water. Making salt water shouldn't be that hard. After all, it is one parts water. Two parts water. I'm estimating the amount of salt needed, but I'm sure that will be plenty. It's important to stir everything very well. not too vigorously. Yes, possibly a little too much salt. But that's okay, because too little salt is the only bad thing. Now, to fill our coils. I figure we can let gravity do the work here. Yeah, that's nice. It's almost all filled up there. Um, We're going to need to put something on the ends of those, aren't we? Okay. Well, we know this works. Let's, uh, let's go make something for our coils. After much deliberation, and rummaging around the lab here, I decided upon using two metal pins to plug our secondary and I printed these to plug our primary. It's basically a nail through a little plug. Alright. Apparently my salt water is also three parts water. However, once mixed together, you can barely tell the difference. Alright, now let's fill our secondary. I suppose you give it a few taps. And then 
put in your plug. Being very careful, of course. Oh. Being, being very careful, of course, not to lose any water, because that's going to be our con conductive path in our world's first saltwater Tesla coil. That did not work. So, after much effort, I was able to fill our secondary here. And our primary. And now, I think we're ready to give it a try. What do you think? Will it work? Let's find out. I don't know about you, but I've had quite a time during this possibly historic adventure together. There's been some ups, some downs, some in-betweens. Sorry about getting so upset before about the heat. It's cooled off some and I think everything is going to be fine now. So what do you think? Is it going to work? Punk? Well, there's only one way to find out. Progress can be a little slow, and it may not be much, but it's the world's first, and undoubtedly the smallest. So here we go. Oh, I think that's working. It may not be much, but it's working. Well, I've seen a lot of things. But I've never seen something quite like that. Well, until next time. Enjoy. Ah, I guess that worked. I don't know. Oh.